Hi, it's January 3rd, and this is the video I promised you that would explain scoring in Chem 2070. Uh, you can use this video one of two ways. One is to get an estimate about what grade you might receive in a few days. Um, and the second is that once you do receive your final grade, uh, you can use this clip to understand how it is that you received the grade that you did. There's a lot of lore around uh, STEM scoring. Uh, some of it which is true, a lot of which is, 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 is misplaced. So, um, first let me explain about the, 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 the thing that I think students don't understand uh, as well as uh, maybe they, 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 uh, uh, they could is the curve. So let's just take what is the most important part of the course, the, uh, the, the exams. So prelims in this course are uh, were three questions, each worth 24 points. And um, the final was five questions. Again, 24 points. Objectively speaking, a student who got all three questions right is getting an A. A student who gets for the prelim. So three questions right is an A. Two questions right, com completely right, is, is a B. And one question right is a C. So... Um, that means that we would expect uh, a 50 is a B. And this is objective. The actual mean on the exams on the prelims were, I think, something like 44 to 43. And therefore, the average for our class on prelims 1 and 2 was a B minus. So, the average of the class is set by class performance, not by uh, uh, the curve. The final uh, is five questions. So, uh, what we'd like to see is uh, a little more than three questions completely right. So, that would be... Uh, uh, three and a half questions, that would be uh, something like an 85, uh, is a B. I should put that in blue. And your the class did indeed get a around an 85 average. A little bit below that, and that's why I told you that your the average for the final this year was a B average. So the first uh, uh, first piece of lore that I like to get rid of is the concept that uh, that you're uh, you're all curved. No, there's there, there's an absolute scale here, uh, which is uh, which which is uh, based on how how you're doing on these exams. Okay. Now let's get to the uh, actual computation of your grade. There are three parts. There is the 100 points from flip class, pre-lecture, and post-lecture. And 90% of the class, 90 plus percent of the class received all 100 points. If you didn't receive all 100 points, uh, that should cost you in your course grade. Because our idea was that if you do your work every week, for every lecture, you would get all these. Over 90% over of the class did that. And uh, so let's say you only got uh, 30 points on flipped, 25 points on pre, 20 on post. That's a total of 75. Uh, the number you should record then is minus 25 points. You can only be penalized in the first this portion uh, by not doing your work. 
Uh, then we get to the second portion of the course, which is the lab. I'm not in charge of the lab, but the lab is, is a situation uh, quite a bit like the, uh, the, the flip class, uh, the pre-lecture and the post-lecture. We expect that a student who uh, scores, uh, I don't know, in the 80, 80 to 90 percent is a student who is doing a, a, a satisfactory job and should not have any points taken off. So that will be no negatives. If you manage to score 100 point, percent, uh, point, uh, percent in the lab, I mean, first, that's incredible. Uh, then you should get some cre extra credit for it. If you didn't turn labs in and you started getting 60 points, uh, 60 percent or 40 percent in the lab, uh, it's going to be a big hit. But the, the bottom line to understand is that I'm not in charge of the lab, of course, but the, the expectation is that if you scored 80 to 90 percent, something like something like 80 to 90 percent, you're doing the work that we asked you to do, and uh, it should have no effect on your grade. And so uh, for 90 percent of the students, the flip class, Will have no effect on their grade because they did a good job and maybe for 80 percent of the class uh, the lab portion will have no effect on your grade because you did a good job so I'm not going to give any numbers on this so I'm not saying the lab portion is not important but I'm saying that the 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 um, the, um, the goal of the lab points is like the the hundred points for the flip pre and post these are exercises you do that will teach you about chemistry in important ways. And if you do a satisfactory job, uh, uh, that's what we're looking for. So the big thing then, of course, is the exams. That's 700 points. And uh, I've already explained that roughly how, uh, how uh, the exams should work and how the means came about. So uh, the, the, the prelims are supposed to be worth 200 points each. 72 times, this is the important factor, 2.78 equals 200. And the final is worth 300 points. And so 120 times 2.50 equals 300 points and oops sorry and these two numbers are the crucial numbers 2.78 and 2.50 so let's just take an example let's say you got uh, and you need to know uh, standard deviations prelim 1 prelim 2 Final sigma, that's the standard deviation, was 16, 14, and 24. If you multiply by 2.78, 2.78, 2 2.50, uh, you get 44, 40, and 60. So let's say, uh, and the mean was, uh, the mean was, I'll put means here. Uh, I'll just, I can't quite remember the exact number. 44, 42, 84. Uh, you can look up the exact numbers. But um, uh, let's say that your number was, uh, uh, so this is you, a uh, uh, student made a cup of student, the purple student. Uh, so a uh, student got a, uh, uh, a 50 on prelim 1, a uh, 49 on prelim 2, and uh, you, you'll, the numbers will change slightly, and it, let's say they got... Uh, a uh, hundred and a uh, hundred and eight on the final then 50 minus 44 is uh, 
I'm going to make change this to a four. Uh, sorry. I can't seem to change it. Okay, since I can't change it, maybe I can change it now. Yes. Uh, fifth, I'm going to make it a 52. So that's uh, 8 points. 49 minus 42 is 7 points. 108 minus uh, 84 is 24 points. And we compare these 8, the numbers 8, 7, 24, to, uh, to uh, these numbers 16, 14, and 24. You can see that 8 points is half a standard deviation because it's 8 divided by 16. 7 is half a standard deviation, and 24 is one standard deviation. Half a standard deviation is 22. Half a standard deviation here is 20. And one standard deviation is 60. And now you've got the four key numbers. The four key numbers are minus 25, plus 22, plus 20, plus 60, uh, and that adds up to 104 uh, plus 77. And so what you want to determine is this number. Uh, it's, um, we can only tell from history how to compare this number to uh, your actual score. And historically, uh, around historically, in, in ma many, many courses, historically, and it only varies by a few points from year to year, uh, around 100 points is a whole letter grade. So, um, uh, this student uh, we gave for prelim one, it was a B minus for prelim two. It was a B minus for the final. It was a B, and that means that the average of the class is going to be somewhere between a B minus and a B. This person is uh, not a whole letter grade above, but is uh, three quarters of a letter grade above. Uh, this student uh, will pro the most probable grade is an A minus, and so. Let's go over what the key points are. Key points are uh, the the grades are here. I'll put it here. Uh, the curve is based on objective standards uh, about how many questions you got right. And uh, if I can say something for the questions you got right uh, as you go on to f future courses, just think back and think about what was your knowledge level for those questions you got right. And what you want to do is achieve that knowledge level uh, for your future courses, and that way you can get make, you, you can know before your exam roughly how you're doing. Second thing is that for the lab, if you did a good job, you turn in your lab reports, probably it's not going to raise or lower your grade. If you did a terrible job, it is going to lower your grade. If you did a super job, it is going to raise your grade. For the uh, flip pre-lecture, post-lecture, uh, if you did a good job, uh, it just doesn't matter. If you didn't do a good job, it's going to cost you. It costs the student 25 points. It costs the student going from an A, uh, you know, they had a better chance of getting an A. So uh, then the next thing is to do is you figure out uh, in terms of standard deviations. The statistical word for that is Z-score. You need to figure out your Z-scores. You can look that up, I'm sure. The Z-score. Figure out the Z-scores and uh, scale them up to course points, which are these three factors. Uh, and you can get the, the these numbers here. You add the numbers together, including whatever deduction you got on the, uh, on the first part, and 
Uh, historically, 100 points is a whole letter grade. Okay, uh, hopefully you'll find that uh, the grade you estimate with this is uh, will correspond to your actual grade, but uh, I do hope that this, this recording will, 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 will make it clear to you, first, that there is an objective standard in your grades, and second, your grades are actually uh, understandable. This is not some secret mystery, you know, mystery process. Uh, best of luck to you, and I, I'm again, please accept my apologies for how incredibly long this entire process is taking. Uh, if it makes if you uh, feel somewhat better, uh, grades, uh, final exams were scored up through uh, midnight New Year's Eve. Um, over the last couple of days and over the next couple of days, uh, I, I actually myself will uh, rescore uh, something like 150 of your exam papers uh, uh, to make sure, and, and it's, it's, it's looking very good, but I'm making sure that, uh, that the grading process was done uh, well because there is, in the very, this very tight schedule, uh, there is no regrade on the exams, and it's really it's my duty to make sure that the, the grades are properly done. So, uh, Happy New Year, and uh, I hope this video helped.